I think the debate in Washington about the Iran deal has led to a lot of hyperbole, both from the critics and the supporters of the agreement. Some of the critics say that the deal would accelerate Iran's acquisition of a nuclear weapon or pave the road for Iran to get nuclear weapons. That clearly isn't true. Some of the supporters have said that uh, the deal would prevent Iran from getting nuclear weapons and rejection of the deal would lead to war. I don't think that's true either. So what we've tried to do in this uh, Belfer Center uh, briefing book is to present a balanced view of the strengths and the weaknesses of the agreement so that Congress and the public can have dispassionate and objective information in order to make a decision about whether or not to support the agreement.